Moving on to other big news in the region this evening, U.S. President Barack Obama says that he intends to remove Cuba from the U.S. list of state sponsors of terrorism. Now, in a brief statement, the White House said it did not believe that Cuba was or would be a sponsor of terrorism. White House Press Secretary Josh Earnest says that Obama's decision is in line with U.S. interests and values. We now turn to our special correspondent in Washington, Jorge Gestoso, for an update on this decision. President Barack Obama has decided to remove Cuba from the list of the countries that sponsor terrorism, and he has sent his recommendation to the Congress that now has 45 days to study his recommendation. President Barack Obama has decided to take the decision based on the recommendation of the State Department that says that the government of Cuba has not provided any support for international terrorism during the preceding six months period and that the government of Cuba has provided assurances that it will not support acts of international terrorism in the future. That will pave the way for Cuba to establish its embassy here in Washington because now it will have access to banking services. According to analysts, the meeting of President Castro with President Barack Obama recently in the Summit of America was taking a big role on that decision. Cuba was in the list of countries that sponsored terrorism since 1982. Residents of Havana celebrated President Obama's decision to remove Cuba from the U.S. list. The move clears the way, clears the main obstacle to restoring diplomatic relations and reopening embassies after more than half a century. It's time. It's time that Obama realizes that Cuba is not what they say the world over. It's time to re-establish ties between Cuba and the United States. I think that it's a good intention by President Barack Obama, and I don't think Cuba should be on that list. Cuba doesn't sponsor terrorism. On the contrary, it helps many countries. 